Okay, this is the new tomato pepper hydroponic house part two. Um, Shane and Wayne and Ethan were working on the uh, putting the bags up and the drip system. So they have poly pipe, uh, three quarter inch along the header, and half inch poly pipe the length of the the rows. And then they have the spaghetti hose with the emitters and the drip uh, spikes. So there are three to each um, slab. And they are filling the barrel right now. So this is going to be on a pump system. Yeah, This will run uh, three times a day. It will be on a timer run three times a day for... Uh, we're thinking around 15 minutes each time, but we're not positive. We'll have to play around with that. They will play around with that. So they're just getting this all ready to go, and then they're going to start up the pump and get these bags filled just with the drips instead of going from um, slab to slab, wetting them down. So you can see this one here. Um, it's still not fully wet so it still hasn't expanded as uh to its potential yet but it will and then uh, those ones will follow right along so this is pretty exciting stay tuned all right so we are on the next day and they have got the uh the wires up above uh with the turnbuckles to suspend our plants and Ethan is just laying out the tomahawks to be strung up. Um, the bags are completely full of water now. Yeah. So we have our um, greenhouse bell peppers that we're starting to transplant into here because the bottoms have the roots showing through. And uh, they're going to start rooting into the um, cocoa. Yeah, the cocoa. And that just gets set on top. The spike goes in and through into the uh, cocoa and slab it. and that holds it but once they're strung on we were thinking okay how is this going to work when the when the wind is blowing through the roll-ups but it's going to be strung on and the weight of the blocks the weight of uh, these blocks they're super heavy so that's going to hold them down and we all just have to play it by ear so there's the beginning we have a lot more to do so we'll be right back once we get all this planted. Okay, Haley is continuing on uh, cutting all the way down, getting ready for the plants. Hopefully we can get these all in today, eh? I think we will. I think so. And there, ta-da! And Shane's working on the wire. And Ethan is getting the blocks or the slabs all evenly spaced out. And I am going around and marking where the holes are going to be placed by Haley. So Shane is up there doing the bracing. Um, he's just put some wire from there up and up to the collar tie, and uh, that's just going to suspend or help uh, keep it from sagging. So I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Let me see. He's done them down there too. And Haley is still cutting away. <laughs> and what I forgot to mention too is um, the spacing that we are using is 15 inches apart. So what you want to make sure you do is keep your um, slabs evenly spaced out and then you get that perfect spacing in between. And then Ethan is putting up the tomahooks I'll put the links to everything uh, in the description box below. And then uh, once Shane has done this rung, then I'm going to start stringing over here. We'll bring our tomatoes down and get them planted. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. So Haley is now going around and just clipping loosely onto the pepper plants to keep the strings in place. and. Uh, we are done this row. This is so easy to plant, guys. Like, 
well I've got the spike in there now but you just set this block on top of the slab so it's the plug the block and then the slab and the roots will start going into the block or into the slab sorry and uh, it's absolutely no dirt it's fantastic So what do you think, Hale? We are done. So we have 171 beefsteak tomatoes in this greenhouse and 57 peppers in this row. So we have three rows, one row of peppers, three rows of beefsteak. And then over here on our far row, we are going to be putting cucumbers. So we they aren't ready to be transplanted yet and uh, we'll show you that when when that is done so right here with these tomatoes with these beef steaks we have the one row in the center but what we're gonna do we have two strings because we've got our main top and then once the sucker starts growing we're going to start another plant which will we'll end up with two plants off the one plant on this one and then we'll do a drop and lean just like we do in the other greenhouses but I love this because there's no dirt zero dirt none so once this is dried up we're, tomorrow we're going to uh, we just tested the drippers out again we're going to give it a good sweep they still have to put in the back windows or plastic on the back wall but that's it yay Ooh. So that's it for now. We are full of Oh yeah. Algae. <laughs> that's why we wear gloves. <laughs> yeah, usually, not today. Uh, Anyhow, guys, thanks for following us along and we'll keep you updated with everything that goes on here. Bye. <laughs>